We as a church, we want to value what God values. Well, how do you know what God values? Well, we really believe that Jesus is God's one and only unique son. And so the words of Jesus as recorded in this book have great value to us. And let me share with you one of the great values. Actually, it was the last value Jesus shared before he ascended into heaven. Listen to what the word of God says. Matthew chapter 28, starting in verse 18, he says that Jesus came and told his disciples, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I've given you. And be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. You see, as a church community, we value life. And we value a life that's truly being lived on mission. See, the mission of God is to see the gospel preached, disciples made, disciples baptized, and disciples taught to live a life in which they're learning from and living for Jesus. That's what it means to be a disciple. You're saved, you're baptized, and you begin living for Jesus. So we as a church, we value living on mission. And let me just share something with you. Those that live on mission are not those that just work at a church. Every single Christian is a sent missionary. Jesus said in John chapter 20, verse 21, as the Father has sent me, so now I send you. See, Jesus was the first missionary, and you and I are sent into our world to be disciple makers, to be those that live on mission. As bakers, as plumbers, as candlestick makers, as pastors, whatever, wherever God has placed us, we value living on mission with and for Jesus.